All right, here's part two of our video of trying to find mu equals the population mean. So where we just left off was talking about population distribution versus sample distribution. Okay, what I now want to say is what if I ask 500 people, you know what, let's not do 500. They're like, sure, no. These are imaginary people. We can ask them as many as we want. Let's say I ask 100 people, but let's say that I do this 20 times. Okay, so remember my question. I'm going to survey 100 people and ask how many shows they binged watched on Netflix during quarantine. So let's say the first 100 people, when I take that sample, I get the answer of 7.2. So 7.2 shows. The next sample, I get 8.5. The next sample, I get 6.9. Okay, so you feeling me? So we're gonna do this 20 times. So I'm gonna have 20 X bars. Now what you're gonna notice though, is that these X bars aren't gonna vary as much as if I just asked everyone, because I'm no longer gonna get any zeros. Unless I ask 100 people and they all say zero shows, which then we know they're lying, um, we're, we're not going to see that. And we're also not going to get a bunch of people that had 50 shows. Unless I interview 100 people and they all say 50, then that average would be 50. So what happens is that these averages are going to be more normal and in the middle. So what will happen is that before I may have had a spread of answers of zero to let's just say 50. So some people said they watch zero shows and some said they watch 50 shows. Now, based on my X bars, we might see instead, oops, now, we might see a spread of like six and a half to 10. All right, what's gonna happen is that we are just gonna graph, graph the X bars. So what will happen when I do that, when I graph the X bars, is it's gonna tighten way up. No longer are we gonna have the wacky, wacky, wacky spread. It's gonna be much, much narrower. And when I found the mean of the means, so when I find the mean of all the X bars, what I am should get is something super close to the population mean that I want, okay? This is called a sampling distribution. Not the distribution of a sample, a sampling distribution. A sampling distribution is saying that I'm taking 20 X bars, graphing those X bars, and what I get is a very, very, very tight graph. Okay, that is what we wanna talk about moving forward.